We are always looking for new techniques that will help us become more efficient in the workroom. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra Van Sickle and today I welcome you to my workroom. Now a lot of you are out there making masks for first responders as well as yourself and you're adding ties to the mask. Well in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use your bias tape maker and some special tape to make your ties while sitting at the sew machine. So come on and let me show you this technique. Now here's the supplies that you will need. You will need to use one of your bias tape makers. And as you can see here, they come in different sizes. But for this demonstration, I will be using the one inch bias tape maker. And you will cut your fabric according to the directions for what size that you will be using. Now, in this case, I will be cutting, I have cut my fabric one and three quarter inch wide. And of course, you will cut the length that you need for the project that you'll be working on. Now, we're also gonna be using this clear gel double-sided tape. It's strong, it's removable, and it's reusable. What's so neat about it is that if it gets dirty, all you have to do is wash it with warm water and let it dry. And then you can use it on another project. You will find the link to the bias tape makers as well as this tape in the description below. Now I have cut a strip of about two inches of this tape. And like I said, it's double sided. So you'll take the other side, the film off of it. And I'm going to put this ruler here and show you that you're going to go ahead and line it up onto your table, like in front of your foot, just like that. Okay, so we're in this line. And then you're going to take your bias tape maker and you're going to slide your fabric in the groove here. This is probably a little bit of a tricky part. Do one by one corner. Kind of push it through till you get to a certain place. And if you have an awl, you can certainly use an awl, but if you don't have one, then uh, you can use a straight pin. Okay, you can see how it comes out here. And then I am going to pull it and then I'm going to take my bias tape maker and I'm going to lay it on its side. So you stick it right onto the tape. And you see it, that tape is strong. Okay, I'm going to take my end and I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half and put it underneath my foot. Okay, and with my left hand, I'm just going to hold the end of my fabric. And with my right hand, I am just going to gently hold the fabric together and then to stitch. You see how the fabric just nicely glides. Now, if you're going to be putting this on mask or putting it on um, anything else, then you're going to want to take your fabric and just pretend like this is a, a mask. Or, and I'm just going to fold it here. And you'll just insert it just like this. And then with your finger, fold it down over the top, lining up the edges, and then you can continue stitching. Now once you get going, you'll, you can go pretty fast. And there you go. An easy way to add, to make a, a tie and add it to uh, your mask or whatever else that you happen to be working on. Now, when you are finished with your project, you're going to remove your um, bias tape maker from your tape. You're just going to give it a little twist and it comes right off. 
And as you can see, it um, the tape doesn't leave any residue on the bias tape maker. And then you will just take your tape and you'll grab a hold of the edge and you'll peel it right off. And there you go. And if I touch my table, you will see that it does not leave any residue on my table either. Now, if you've got um, some handprints on here or there's a little bit of maybe fabric, all you need to do is take this piece of tape over to your sink and with a little warm water, uh, uh, warm sudsy water, I should say, you can wash it off, let it dry, and you can reuse this piece of tape. I hope that you have found this technique helpful for when it comes time to making ties for a project, of course, ties to go onto these masks. But I also wanted to remind you that this technique is great uh, whenever you want to add a bias banding to the edge of, say, a tablecloth, a placemat, or maybe even a baby blanket. Now, I also wanted to tell you that it's always a pleasure having you here in my workroom with me. And if you would like to learn more about me and my educational offerings, then I invite you to visit my website at sandravansickle.com. And of course, I would love it if you would su subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that this way you will be notified whenever I release my next video. Okay, everyone, I look forward to seeing you soon.